All right, ladies and gentlemen, no uploads for the next two days after this video goes up today. You know why? <laughs> I get to piss in this jar. <laughs> Life of a cancer patient. I have to get my urine checked. Simo, will you come check my piss? Does anyone in the community want to come check my piss? We are not hard, and that is a fact. All right, calm your big, massive tits. That was bound to creep somebody out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1200 ladder. I really do appreciate all the support. I know it's a bit early considering that I just talked about in probably yesterday's video or the day before, whenever it was, that we're probably not getting another ban list barring any sort of weird emergency ban list, but I doubt that that's going to happen. Uh, probably till like late August or early September. However, we do get Duelist and Nexus around the end of July. And so I figured with Nationals right around the corner and me not able to go uh, due to health reasons, um, yeah, I figured why not just talk about a ban list because basically Yu-Gi-Oh for the season is over. You know, we have Nationals, but that's just going to be this format. We move into Duelist and Nexus and then regional season kicks back up hopefully at some point. So Let's go ahead and talk about what should be hit on this ban list. Three, two, one. Starting off with the bans, yes, I saw what happened at the Nationals with Eradicator Epidemic Virus. I believe it was in Europe or something. I'm really torn on this card because there are people that said it needs to go to one. There are other people that said it doesn't need to be hit. There are other people that have said it just needs to be flat out banned. The issue with the virus cards, just in general, is that they were made in a time when the restrictions on them were somewhat balanced, minus something like Crush Card Virus. You know, I remember in 2012, playing Dark World, nowhere near the power scale it is now, but back then it was considered pretty good, and playing Eradicator and Deck Debbie, like either in my main or my side, because you could just get out of Grapha, and then your Deck Debbie and your Eradicator was live. Same goes for Gold and Silva, if you were playing those. And it was pretty easy to pull them off. The difference in something like Dark World, though, is that they don't have a way to search the frickin' cards. So, like, you had to hard draw the Eradicator of the Deck Debbie, which you may think, oh, well, Dark World's back in 2012. We're probably still drawing a lot of cards. They were, but nowhere near as much as they can do now with Link Monsters and stuff. So you still had to hard draw it. Now you have a deck like Labyrinth that can ditch, like, what is it, Cuckoo Clock to get you the damn card? And it's just like... I, I don't think that that's really healthy. And I don't think for anyone watching at home, they just want to, you know, see a Labyrinth player whip out their diddly and proceed to play with themselves. That was what we used to say back in the day on the channel. And just drop out Eradicator and look at the opponent and be like, hey, bro, you going to finish that pizza, Sugar Boo Bear? And, like, they just auto-lose. And it's BS. And so... I do feel that something needs to happen to Eradicator, even though Master Shits isn't the best thing to look at when it comes to something like this. I think it is a telltale sign that something may happen to Eradicator, especially since it literally won someone on damn nationals. So do keep that in mind as we move through this. Sorry about that jump cut. I had to pull my ban list article document thing back up because my computer decided to crap its pants. So anyway, um, continuing on with the ban section, I also have a note here. Could we potentially see Deck Devastation Virus be banned if we were to see uh, Eradicator get banned? Because I feel like at that point, it's just sort of like whack-a-mole, right? Like we dealt with Crush Card a long time ago and, you know, Konami errated it. Now EEV is an issue, but could we see Deck Debbie later on become an issue? I feel like, you know, maybe deal with those problems now instead of later to when they become issues again, since Labyrinth can search trap cards like that. But that might be a little bit too far out of the spectrum. I mentioned this on every ban list, and I mention it because I saw it on a TCG player article, and it makes a lot of sense. I think it was from Hanko Chow that said this. Terraforming needs to be banned. Basically, every single deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, or at least the ones that try to be competitive, all of them have a field spell. And to me, it's like 
you're basically playing four copies of your field spell. Like every single deck now is basically playing four copies of the field spell. Getting rid of terraforming makes it so that you have to use a in-house archetype card to search your field spell, or you have to do like ancient fairy lines to get you to a field spell with a different name from the ones destroyed now with the errata. Hasn't happened yet. Maybe it won't happen for like another five years out, but this is my prediction on every, or rather discussion point, uh, on every ban list is that at some point or another, I do believe we will see Terraforming get banned. That's all I have for the bans. I really don't think a whole lot needs to happen. Like there's not exact specific cards, like something like last format with Diabolsus that I think need to be hit. Just kind of looking over deck uh, meta trends and, you know, deck techs and things like that. So anyway, uh, moving on to the limited. I have several hits here to cash Tira, and I think a combination of these could be a great to handle cash Tira. It needs to be taken out back and shot in the head at this point. Um, Fenrir needs to go to one. Pressured Planet could also go to one. Possibly Unicorn and or Theosis to one. I know Unicorn's at two, but you really want to hit the consistency of this deck because it's just so damn good. Um, yeah, something needs to happen to this. And some combination of this, I feel, would really help put the deck in check so that we have more of a balanced format where it's not just like Cash is coming for that ass, you know what I mean? Um, next up here for the Limiteds, I also have Sprite Blue. We see Sprite being splashed in so many things. Your boy, the self-appointed Purely King, dumped Sprite into Purely and like it worked. So I do feel that sprites need more of a hit so that they're not just so splashable and so many different freaking versions. Um, I'm not cussing as much in this video in case you can't tell. I'm trying to see what happens with the algorithm. I'm testing a couple things out here. Um, like, you know, we have runic sprite for higher sprite, live twin sprite, my, my piss gallon sprite. Like, seriously, there's so many versions of sprite. It's so uh, just disgusting. It, it needs to be handled. We've had Power of the Element decks in the format for basically over a year now at this point. I feel that those decks are definitely going to get moved out of the meta in some form or fashion to where they're going to let all of these new decks from Duelist Nexus and stuff come into the fray. Next up here, I'm still sticking with this. Runic Tip needs to go to freaking one. Like, it, it's, it's a blank Runic card. It's just search any Runic card and you're off to the races. Like... Uh, runic needs to be hit and keep in mind that they're getting that new fusion in duelist nexus so yeah like uh, tip the the deck needs to be reeled in fountain to two doesn't do a damn thing um and then also here this is a bit of a hot take because i feel like this will this is going to probably give me a lot of hate in the comments could we see the new super heavy sam i say new it's not even new could we see the super heavy samurai link come back to one because think about it, it went from three to ban and instantly hit it out of the meta. The Link monster is what made the deck go around. Could we see Konami say, okay, we're just going to kind of inch it back in. We're going to put it at one. That way, since the deck was originally playing two copies, if that one copy gets negated, well, now you, you have to figure out your combo some other way. It still does allow you to go summon Soul Piercer, make the Link and search. I get that, so I could see where maybe we just don't see it come back, period. Um, but I, I feel like Super Heavy was really taken out of the, the format really way too quick. Fastest we've ever seen in um, in at least the competitive time, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! over 10 years, to see a competitive deck get taken out of the meta so quick. Um, so I feel that something like that could happen. Not a lot here to three other than one card, Delicious Memory, needs to come back to three. I don't think anything is going to get semi-limited. I really think that we are in, overall, if you look at the meta trends, we're in a balanced format. You can pick a lot of different decks and you can do well with it. Just we need to kind of clean up a couple things that we can make way for Monstrous Revenge uh, to really shine and then also to make room for Duelist Nexus and all of the goodies that come in that core set, which despite popular opinion, I actually think that that set's going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, just put Delicious Memory back to three. At Purely Noir and uh, Purely Shirley, the new trap card, are going to be in Duelist Nexus, so why not just get, get let the deck be back at full power? It really, Delicious Memory at three, all it did was help us OTK better and more consistently. Like, that was it. That's why I threw in the Sprite Engine, because it helped supplement and even further expanded upon purely what we lost with losing two delicious memory. You know, the two hits and trying to play a pure build going first is basically impossible now. You have to play a blind going second build if you want to just play straight purely, or you play the going first build with your voice sprite build. So let us have the deck back at full power now that we're getting even more support.
But guys, these are just my thoughts on the ban list. You know, I've been kind of chilling out from Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm still kind of playing competitively here and there, but like I said, I sold my Sprite Purely deck and I'm just looking to take it easy and just chill out and see what the next set of regionals will be and see what happens with Duels Nexus because I think that the Synchron stuff is going to be really good. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.